poison is one of typical well-known handicrafts in China, and its official name is fetal copper filigree enamel. Cloison gained its name because of its popularity in Jing Tai period in the Ming Dynasty, and its enamel glaze mainly in blue color. Cloison is not only given to the foreign guests as a national gift, but also has come into the ordinary families. 咱们老北京有一句俗话。珍珠串、景泰蓝、玲珑玉器看不完，说的就是咱们燕京八绝中的三绝之一——景泰蓝制作工艺。老师，新大蓝的制作有哪些流程？它的制作过程非常繁复，制作工艺非常精良。传入咱们中国以后呢，跟咱们传统的金属工艺相结合，大概有大大小小三十七种工序才能完成。接下来，我们就去体验一下景泰蓝制作中的两个比较主要的流程，就是掐丝和点蓝。对照这个图纸来，头掐丝之前先把这个丝顺直了。马上就要到虎年了，然后做一个虎的设计也是很有意义、很应景。进行完掐丝之后呢，我们现在来到了点蓝的环节。Do you think coloring the pattern is difficult? Yes, it's very hard. You need to use different color. And you need to be very careful to don't make any mistake. It's almost finished. How do you feel about making it today? Actually, it's very hard to do because you know, we are using different colors. It's also very small. For this, you have to calm down, then relax, and uh, you have to make it with your heart. And how about you? I think it's very, very beautiful. And it's amazing to make it. I will introduce this for all my friends and my family. 老师，你为什么一直坚持做品牌了？景泰蓝这门工艺传承到今天已经有几百年的历史，机缘巧合吧，接触这个行业，也就一直坚持下来了。也希望更多的人呢，以后能了解这门工艺，了解我们的传统文化。With the historical chance created by the Biogen Road, Cloison, as one of the most charming gems of art of China, will be more and more popular in the world. And we hope that you can spread this traditional Chinese culture to all over the world.